former CIA director John Brennan will have his security clearance revoked as the Trump administration publicly questions his objectivity and credibility. Brennan served in the Obama administration. He has been openly critical of President Trump. After the president's Helsinki summit with Vladimir Putin, Brennan accused Mr. Trump of treason. On Twitter, Brennan said the decision was, quote, part of a broader effort to suppress freedom of speech and punish critics. He also said it should worry Americans and members of the intelligence community. Major Garrett reports. At the White House briefing today, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders read a statement from the president. I've decided to revoke the security clearance of John Brennan, former director of the Central Intelligence Agency. Mr. Brennan's line and recent conduct characterized by increasingly frenzied commentary is wholly inconsistent with access to the nation's most closely held secrets and facilities. Brennan reacted shortly afterward on MSNBC. I do believe that uh, Mr. Trump decided to take this uh, action, as he's done with others, to try to intimidate and suppress any criticism of him or his administration. And um, revoking my security clearances uh, is his way of trying to get back at me. Brennan served as CIA director under President Obama and was part of the team that briefed President-elect Trump on Russian interference in the 2016 election. President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. After the president's press conference with Russian President Vladimir Putin last month, Brennan tweeted, it was nothing short of treasonous. This was Brennan last night. I think Donald Trump has badly sullied the reputation of the office of the presidency. In an interview with Jeff Glor in mid-July, Mr. Trump made his disdain for Brennan clear. I have no confidence in a guy like Brennan. I think he's a total lowlife. Former government officials often retain security clearances so they can advise their successors. Sanders said the administration was reviewing the clearances of several other former Obama administration officials and Bruce Orr, a Justice Department attorney who was in contact with a former British spy claiming to have dirt on Mr. Trump. CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Major Garrett is at the White House and joins us now. Major, the White House said last month it was exploring the possibility of revoking clearances of several former intelligence officials. Do we know why the president is taking this action against Brennan now? Well, the White House official reaction or explanation to that question, and it's a very good one, is, well, the process has run its course. The review was done and the decision was made. There's one piece of evidence released by the White House that dramatically undercuts that official explanation. Because when the White House this afternoon released the president's official statement announcing the revocation of former CIA director John Brennan's security clearance, it carried the date July 26th. Strong evidence coming from the White House that this decision had long since been made. White House aides then retracted that statement and issued another one that was identical, Tanya, in all but one respect. It changed the date from July 26th to today. It's no secret here at the White House that they have long since grown weary of the Omarosa Manigault Newman book tour and the allegations of racism and corruption she's made against the White House in which she formerly worked. And the president has long since been irritated of the coverage of the fraud trial of Paul Manafort, his former campaign general chairman. So if the White House was looking for a means by which to change the subject, Brennan's revoked security clearance did provide that option. And it certainly has changed the subject. Um, um, at Wednesday's press briefing, Major, you asked White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders if there was any evidence Brennan had misused his clearance. Did she provide any? No, she did not. And I said, what's the standard, therefore, to revoke someone's security clearance? Because the two issues that Sarah raised reading from the statement from President Trump were inaccurate testimony given in various contexts. And I said, well, is that the standard now? If you give inaccurate testimony or have to amend your testimony, you can have your security clearance revoked. She said it's always going to be a case by case basis. The reason I asked those questions was previously the administration said these security clearances were under review because of fears that people had misused the security clearance or monetized access to classified information. Without saying that Brennan had done that, 
his security clearance was revoked nevertheless, which creates then a question about why did this happen? Was this simply retribution against someone who has been a harsh, and we should point out, very, very harsh critic of this president? So harsh that some in the intelligence community have begun to regard Brennan no longer as a former CIA director clashing with the Trump administration on matters of policy, but something of a political gadfly. Mm -hmm. And that does put him in a different category, at least within the minds of many former members of the intelligence community and some who, st who still serve within it. Certainly. Uh, Major, on MSNBC, Brennan said that he learned his security clearance had been revoked from the news. Now, this is similar what happened to what happened when former FBI Director James Comey was fired. Do we know if anyone was consulted before this announcement was made? Probably not. And there's certainly a sense within the intelligence community that the White House put this together and did it on its own and used the press briefing as its megaphone to make this announcement. That's within the president's purview. He has the power to do this. And if he doesn't want to, he doesn't have to inform anybody. And by all available evidence at this hour, it doesn't appear that he did. But this is unprecedented. Is that correct, Major? Ger Major? So I will rely on Mark Warner, who is the Democratic vice chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee. I don't have a voluminous mental memory of everything that's ever been done in the history of security clearances with the U.S. government. But Mark Warner, speaking on behalf of the committee generally, which conducts its business typically and historically in a bipartisan way, said his staff has reviewed it and they find no precedent. Now, it's important to point out former officials have lost their security clearances before, usually for something called for cause. They've done something in their life that makes them potentially subject to blackmail, a personal indiscretion or a crime, and therefore for cause have lost their security clearance. That's why we go back to the questions I raised at today's briefing. Were there things that would fall into that for cause category? The White House did not offer any evidence of that, so this has a political cast to it, and according to Senator Warner, is therefore unprecedented. All right, Major Garrett at the White House, thank you for your insight on this. Thank you.